morning everyone. Welcome to another beautiful morning here at Service Campground in Coffeeville, Alabama at another Army Corps Engineer Campground. Kind of part two of our camping trip. Another beautiful morning. Um, another delicious breakfast made up from the wife. Bon appetit. Uh, I actually have some decent internet. I'm over here working on my subtitles. That way all my uh, Russian followers there can read what we're saying and all that. I got a great Russian audience that follows the channel. So thank you all very much. Alright, I'm going to finish uh, some of these. My uh, translations. We're going to have breakfast, and I think we're going to head over to the dam. There's a dam and a lock system. It's kind of down the road a little bit, so we're going to get to Buick and do a little adventure and drive around town and see what there is in Coffeeville, Alabama. There's the X on Billy Idol told me he came and checked. Wow, we were impressed immensely with that exhibition of muscle, power, and speed. You've arrived. Yeah, we've arrived. Western Union. Except for stuff. So we tried to go to a state park, county park. I don't know. Really wasn't anything there. Not a thing, right? No. Like literally Creepy. not. A thing. Actually. So we're gonna drive around Coffeeville, check it out, see what it's all about. Oh, let's pull into the. It looks like it. Looks like it used to be a high school. Okay. Exit only. <laughs> this, I could be wrong, but this does not look like it's still in use. Could be wrong. I don't know. It's a cool looking old building though. Coffeeville Learning Library. Wow, maybe it is still used. Let's check out Coffee Bill. So Billy Idol, he does some work with gas stations and that. And he told me he was in Coffeeville once at an Exxon. So there you go, buddy. What does that say? Go-Cos? Go what do you see there? On the 
signs. There's like go code on the building. I don't know. So I think I think that's it for coffee. I think that's it for Coffeeville. It's a very very small town. Sorry, there wasn't much more to show you. Right, got back to the camper. Made one rookie mistake. Thankfully, nothing happened. Warning. Never, ever leave your campsite. Go into town or wherever and leave your awning out. You never know when weather can just pop up. There would have been a sudden storm come in and gust of wind caught that thing. It would have been a bad day. Ooh, I can't believe I forgot that. All right, go for a little walk. All right, so just in case you missed part one of the camping mm -hmm. trip, this is a Tom, Tom Bigby River. And there is a bunch of uh, tugboats that push barges up and down. It's not like a lot. It's not very often. And it's actually pretty cool. They don't make a lot of noise. They're kind of by pretty fast. So it's actually something entertaining to watch. And every load is different. This one looks like it's maybe construction equipment. kids <laughs> I will get the drone up and follow one of these this, I want to one of the bigger ones that have like about six barges hooked up because they definitely they go way slower so it's easier to so Steak. That's what's for dinner. <clears throat> Charcoal makes a difference. And this is what camping is about. Fire going on over there. Picnic table. Mm. All right, everyone. We're gonna eat. We'll probably see you in the morning. Look at the little turtle. This thing is so tiny. And he's out here in the street and the buses are about to leave so we're gonna we're gonna put you to safety so you don't get run over by the buses that are leaving there you go buddy there you go look how little it is my uh, good deed for the today the there's three motorhomes that are by tiffin there are some like tiffin uh motor uh tiffin rv club or something they're loading up about to head out they probably run over a little guy make it a run to the uh dumpster i'm going to show you the uh lavatory facilities here uh if you missed part one this is service campground we're near coffeeville alabama this is a Army Corps of Engineer campground. So the nice thing, Army Corps of Engineers usually run dams, so that puts the campsites right near the water, so you have pretty water sites. The downfall to most of them are, they're kind of in the middle of nowhere, so there's not much in the way activities to do here, but if you're looking for a quiet, peaceful getaway for the weekend, it's a place for you. There's one small playground here. campground's only like I think 31 or 34 spots so I uh, believe oh it's locked it's probably a laundry mat but it's locked okay but for some people especially if you're tent camping uh, it's important also notice that there's a lot of RVers here or actually not even here I've seen it in several spots 
they seem to be afraid to use their holding tanks. Instead of taking a shower or using the bathroom in their own RV, you'll watch them go out of the RV in the morning or something with a towel and their shower stuff. And you'll watch them walk over here several times a day to use the bathroom. Instead of just using what's in your own RV. Like they're afraid to empty the tanks. I don't get it. It's kind of one of the luxuries of having your own RV is using your own bathroom. And some people don't believe in that. Look at those two. Look at those two. Oh, there's a mosquito. Look at me. There's a mosquito right on your forehead. Seriously? Yeah. You missed it. Ow. Ow. Good kid. Bloodthirsty little ass wife. So it's Sunday. It was pancakes. One of my favorites for breakfast. Quick, easy, so sorry, nothing to tease you with, but I think tomorrow she'll have you something really good. All right, let's see what today has in store for us. This chicken curry has become one of my more favorite kind of meals. Absolutely delicious. I never thought I'd eat this stuff. I know I said it before, but absolutely delicious. Compliments to the chef. No, thank you, honey. All right, time to eat. You never know how these pictures are going to turn out. When I look down that way, it is like the most pretty orange color, but I'm not sure how GoPro color profile is going to interpret that. The screen doesn't look that orange, but it does look very pretty. And listen, just take a second. That's all you hear is bugs chirping, frogs or whatever they are. That's it. Absolute quiet. So peaceful here. I think this is the first time we've gone camping that somebody hasn't had some type of music either coming out of their car or through some type of um, their outside speakers on their RV or some Bluetooth speaker system or something. This is the first time that people have actually just came out here and enjoyed nature. Kind of nice. Refreshing. I like it. Might come back here in the future, I don't know. I always enjoy checking out new sites, but there's really nothing to do here. But it is nice and quiet. So this is a good little getaway. So, I mean, this is more vacation than anything else. All right, looks like uh, we're going to have some wet stuff to pack up tomorrow. It just absolutely stormed here today, and stuff we had underneath the uh, awning there just is wet. So this is going to be the first time we end up having to pack up a wet dog bed and wet chairs and stuff but it is what it is the uh storage of the rv's got a rubber floor or plastic floor so i can take it just to make sure we get it all out when we get home all right everyone good night we'll see you in the morning Well, the weather channel said it wouldn't rain until noon. It's currently 10 o'clock. We're trying to get out of here. Obviously, we're going to have to wait it out. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I got the rain jackets for, these, for this reason, but the problem is we're going to have so much wet stuff. 
then when we get home, we're gonna have to put a lot of stuff out to dry because my surge protectors out there on the pole it's gonna get wet the power cords gonna be wet the hose that's feeding us water is gonna be wet I left my shoes outside and uh, the mat and the step that we use are soaking wet it, it's rained that hard that it just blew totally under the awning and that's another thing when we get home I have to put the awning out to dry Yeah, and then we had the Buick to hook up too, so waiting for this rain to calm down, then we're going to get out of here. Oh, it's still a good time here, but uh, this is one of those things you got to deal with, Mother Nature. Just, I'm really disappointed, the weather channel just kind of pissed me off, if they would have said it was going to rain at 10, I would have had everything up by now. Alright, I'm going to hit the road, I'm going to hit the road. So we made it home safe and sound, and you're not gonna believe this. You see the awnings up? But look at where we're at. <laughs> yes, there is enough, more than enough room to put the awning out in the garage to get it to dry. I tell you what, I spent the better part of the day after we came home cleaning this RV not only was it trashed on the outside from driving in all the rain the inside was about destroyed picture with me the wife and the dog oh there we go that looks better uh, between the three of us going in and out of the RV during the rain and all that we tracked in a lot of dirt plus there was a cool little pit that had these small little rocks just outside the RV and it was amazing how many of those stuck to our shoes or maybe the dog's uh, paws or something like that and we had a lot of those like little rocks inside the RV so it was full-on cleaning mode like took out the shop vac back in the floor mopped everything uh, actually went ahead and cleaned all the windows because German Shepherds like to smear their nose into everything and uh, just wipe down all the seats seat cushions and the dinette and everything just give the RV like a thorough cleaning after that mess so I want to touch on a few things. I never did get the drone up and I apologize. Well, I got the drone up, but I never did get to chase down a barge. Just always seemed that when the barge was coming, we were walking and I couldn't get to the RV fast enough. Or it just wasn't, if there was one, it was kind of small. It really wasn't what I wanted to film. So apologize for that. Um, the hiking shoes. These are Solomon's. I'm not going to do a review or anything on them. These are like last year's model. I just bought them. I got a really good deal because they're like a year old. I think these are the GTX 3s or something like that. But you can see pretty aggressive tread. And like I mentioned in the first video, they're very light. This pair is no heavier than your standard pair of shoes. Um, and I like the fact that they're high tops. For me, I have bad ankles. So... It gives me a little additional support and I felt it felt pretty good walking on that trail having the extra uh, ankle support it was also really nice not to be slipping and sliding everywhere because uh, in Panama when we took that tour I was kind of sliding all over the place the wife did fine me I was sliding everywhere having a hard time uh, walking in that and then also like when we went hiking in Kentucky, it was quite slippery. So I was really just trying to find some good boots for hiking. Something that would stay dry, that's waterproof, lightweight. So that way it doesn't take up a lot of weight in the bag. Understand when you travel, a lot of European or overseas, when you're overseas, a lot of those airlines have weight restrictions on your bags, especially if you want to carry on. So that's kind of the point. We want to try to carry on as much as we can to avoid those baggage fees. So shoes did outstanding they felt great they did really well stuck really well in the mud even on wet tree roots i didn't have any problem with them uh sliding and all that all right so don't feel any kind of way trust me when kevin at 30 and wake up told me about merino wool and that he could go like a week wearing the same shirt i was like oh but if you look at it the wool fibers of a merino sheep have like a wax in it and it repels bacteria which means the shirts don't smell now this is a merino wool shirt i have a discount code for you if you want to try they are a little expensive uh they do they're supposed to last a really long time but 
this camping trip i spent six days wearing the same t-shirt and the same pair of underwear i said don't judge this was a trial thing to try to see if the hype on merino wool is as they claim and it is i gotta say the underwear and the shirt every night i would hang them up let them air out a little bit and every day they they smelt fine it smelt just like it came out of the washing machine the only thing i could smell is like where the deodorant maybe builds up a little bit in the armpit area i could smell a little deodorant but other than that absolutely fantastic product it's a little bit pricey but to me it's worth it if i can go five even five days we were camping in alabama hot as anything i sweat clean through the shirt it was soaking wet on several occasions and it never smelled now like the shirt i wore to the gym two hours of sweating in the or an hour sweating in the gym it absolutely stinks you can smell it so the merino wool does what it says it repels odors and they're great so if you're trying to travel especially like what we're doing with the carry-on only and, and a backpack as a personal item space is at a premium and instead of packing seven eight nine t-shirts if i pack three t-shirts even in the rv we only have a small wardrobe closet in the back so if i can go camping for a week and just take two t-shirts saves a lot of room especially if you're going to pack like a heavier jacket or something like that for other weather so definitely if uh, you travel or if you're just looking for really good quality shirts that can that breathe well and uh, resist odor stay fresh for a long time check out the merino wool all in all very nice campground uh, had a good time there only thing I don't like is not having like an on-site uh, septic it really really more convenient than having to like disconnect and run down the road to empty also like my RV on the black tank which is your toilet tank the RV has a built-in tank washer so when you have your own on-site septic it's, it makes it really easy just to hook the water hose to that and you could, you could just let that thing run until the water starts running clean like the hoses that I have the elbow that goes down is clear so you can see what's going on so I think probably in the future I'm gonna to try to pick more campgrounds that have like an on-site uh, septic system so pretty good Hope you enjoyed our adventures over there. Hope you enjoyed the wife's cooking. Tease you a little bit more. Everybody really seemed to comment and like the cooking on the last one. So try to add a little bit more on part two here. He said it's not really like a camping video. This is just like a vlog and we just happen to be camping for the vlog. But we have one more camping trip coming up that we have booked for the year. I was talking to KY Chevy. LS Fest is in what, September I think he said. So kind of looking to do that. Uh, go out to LS Fest, maybe have a little fun there. And then we have a camping, or not camp, we have a vacation, a trip planned. Uh, we'll be getting on a flight and heading to the other coast. Check out some beautiful country out that way. So hopefully you enjoy all the adventures. I got to get on Project Z28. I'm not doing it today. I spent about the past four hours this morning trying to get my back to even let me stand up right so I can film this ending here it took me like 30 minutes to get out of bed like i said that's been about the past four hours sitting down standing up just slowly trying to stretch ah I don't know what the hell i did it's, it's usually bad in the morning but usually not this bad but. so yeah that's uh life we're gonna try to next video we'll get the z28 up in the air we'll get that transmission that piece pulled off and get the speedometer working we'll have that for you so I hope you enjoy the travel, the little bit of car stuff that we're doing. You'll subscribe if you haven't. Like, share, comments appreciated. Don't forget when you're looking at the video and when it says more information, there's a lot of good uh, information down below. So check all that stuff out. Till then, thank you for the support. Thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel. It's been a crazy year getting this channel back. Growth has been slow. It's been bouncing between losing people, gaining people. It's still not quite the same, but uh, I still appreciate everybody hanging in there and all the new subscribers supporting the channel. So thank you. Till next time, stay safe and uh, hopefully you look forward to our adventures and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.